national television. Like you said, he's been playing really well here this weekend, but first time on TV for Lynn. And he's slowed down his motion significantly over the past year, and I think that's been the success. And I think it's also part of the reason why he's had success this weekend, because the social distancing aspect of cornhole, having to step out between each throw, it really benefits specific players. Someone like a Len Hyatt who takes a long time. Someone like a Damon Dennis that we just saw in the last round who absolutely dominated the game, 15 out of 16 bags in the hole, because he's slow, so slow and methodical. On the flip side, it hurts someone like Josh Gross. We've seen Josh Gross right. now in two different qualifiers. One of the best players in the world failed to qualify in the singles portion of the broadcast and only qualifies for one of the two doubles broadcasts. I don't mean to call Josh out or anything like that, but it's you know it, it goes to show that he he's a very rhythmic player and playing in this type of style is difficult. Ooh, one bag each left. All bunched up right there in the in front of the hole. You can take everything, but otherwise it's back the whole airmail or a layup. So Scott Phillips gave him three options. You can go slick side all the way through, bring bring them all, backside airmail, or you can just lay up. All three have their pros and cons. We'll see what Hyatt does. Just round three and a huge bag coming up. He's going up. And hits it. Oh, okay. that was okay. nasty right there by Len Hyatt. <laughs> Watch the shot again by Len Hyatt looking for the airmail. It just goes to show he couldn't even see the hole. I mean, he's got to just trust his muscle memory right there. He doesn't even know what he's really throwing at. He's just got to feel it. 